Hello, this is your boy, Solo Hero Style, and we're back with another figure review. Let's get this bad boy open. Okay, we got him open. Let's check out his articulation. Well, before I do that, one thing I noticed about this figure, why I wanted to get it, my brother actually got this for me today. Pretty cool thing. Um, that where the blue parts are, it's translucent. I'm not sure if you can tell. But it is like see-through a bit where his blue armor is sick. I love that detail. Oh yeah. Alright. Oh, okay. Looks like his arm oh his arms can go all the way like that. Okay, cool. Pretty tight around the elbow joint but I actually like it when they're pretty stiff got this guy today cause I was I was saving episode 10 to be a special episode but I gotta wait a while for what I want to get oh yeah all the joints are pretty stiff and tight which is good for me if actually I like it when they come in like that you hear the yeah. Okay. His legs can't really go all the way up. But let's check out the knee joint. Actually, that's... That's not bad. For the articulation in the knee. Since the legs can't go up, this is what I always prefer with my figures. That little... little Thing they have at the for their feet. And let's look at its feet real quick actually. They look pretty sick. Okay, the chest. Okay, that's pretty good I guess. Oh, not a bad crunch for the body in the chest right there. I could see myself doing quite a lot of poses with this guy for sure. Can't really, can only look up just a bit, which is all right. Down for sure. Again, I love the see-through blue armor part. It makes the figure extra special, in my opinion. Oh yeah, it, it does come with a stand. has DC on it. Let's put it on real quick. Yeah, his elbows can't really crunch up that far, but the legs make up for it, in my opinion. And it has over 22 moving parts for this figure. Oh yeah, another thing, it comes with like a little data sheet about him. I always like seeing these with the figures. Says uh, source Teen Titans Animation 2003. Real name Victor Vic Stone. Height six feet five inches, or 1.95 meters. Meters. Weight 385 pounds. <laughs> Half robot Vic Stone is a high tech genius and valid member of Robin's Teen Titans team. Cyborgs not only designs and engineers T vehicles and excels at video game games, he's also a great cook specializing in spaghetti and burgers. <laughs> That's cool. 
definitely like getting the data sheets for the characters. I think it just makes it cooler, in my opinion. Oh, this one's actually called Cyborg Anime because it comes with this little blaster effect right here. Not bad in detail. You can see this is where his little knuckles are, where his fist transforms to his little blaster cannon. Actually, let me pause this real quick and put it on him. There we go. We got it on. Doesn't look too bad, actually. I actually like it. That's one of the reasons why I got this specific one, because it's the, also cyborg from the original Teen Titan series, which is my favorite. And it has the blaster effect. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, you know, I, I definitely could see myself doing some stop motion with this guy, and taking photography photography shots of this too. Even though he's lacking some posable abilities, his legs make up for it definitely. Oh, yeah, and this does kind of move around. This whole figure is pretty rigid, very stiff, which I don't mind at all actually. I tried recreating the pose which was seen in his data sheets. Like, close enough, man. Yeah, I would say this is a good posability. I give this figure probably, I want to say 9 out of 10. But I gotta give this a 9 out A 10 out of 10 I meant, but I gotta give this a 9 out of 10. But overall, it's a good figure. I can see myself animating with this figure. I just gotta figure out who I want to do that with. I was thinking either Robocop, Terminator, Samus. I don't know. I have to think about it. Alright, that's gonna end the video for today. This is your boy, Solar Hero Style. And have a great day.